Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. What does that mean? Another promotion on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. We are in the second week of the Shape Shifters promo. We've got this loading screen going on right now. I want to talk about that a little bit. Talk about the content that we could see today. Um, some of the other content coming this evening as well. We've got a new squad in packs, a new Shape Shifters squad, probably a new SBC, probably an objective. Uh, Man of the Match cards probably coming in the evening. Road to the Final cards coming as well. And I want to talk about some trading methods that you can do and some ways that we can make coins uh, today as well on Friday of Shapeshifters Set 2. So we're going to talk about all that in this video. Try to keep it concise as well. We don't want to take up too much of your day. All right. But let's talk about this loading screen first because this came out earlier today. I want to have a chat about this. Obviously, people have uh, they've kind of put the pieces together on these three cards. And they kind of think they know who it's going to be. Center mid coming from a right back position change with the statistics and the rating. People do think it's going to be Alexander Arnold. People think this is going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. And this looks to be like Conte. A CDM that is changing to a center back that is French 92 rated. Some people were saying Pogba. Uh, but Pogba's card in game is a center mid. So since it says CDM, I do think this is going to be Conte, which is going to be interesting, right? It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust uh, some of these guys' the, the weak foots and stuff. And I just noticed there's like a, a little crazy image here in the background of this of this picture that I found on Twitter. Nice. Who, who, who is this from? Nice. Don't know who this is, but we just found it on Twitter and we found it right there. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, Ronaldo, Conte, and, um, and Trent Alexander-Arnold are the guys from this loading screen that I do think we are going to see today in foot as a part of that second team and those guys in the team i mean th this first set of, of guys that are in shapeshifters it's not a terrible squad but you know uh it's just all right but if we have those guys conte ronaldo and trent alexander arnold getting into the shapeshifters team uh that's that's a pretty solid set of cards that we could see today so i'm interested to see how the market reacts to something like those today of course we had the riyad mares i mean set one Set one wasn't too bad, right? If we take a look back at these cards that were a part of set one, I don't feel like these cards are, are too bad. I mean, we got some really cool upgrades in here, really cool position changes. And uh, most of these cards are pretty usable or they at least look fun, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this first squad. Hopefully they back it up with the second squad and make the second squad really good as well because a lot of times the second squad isn't as good as the first, but it looks like they're trying to even that out now as they go back and forth um, on these squads as we have way, way, way too many two-week promos. In my opinion, it seems to be the way they're doing things this year. And it just, it's like, especially when they're not dropping content consistently in, in that two-week time span, it really just seems to lag on and uh, just kind of be just, you know, not that great because we're having two-week promos and not a lot of content to fill up those two weeks. So that's my only issue with that. But hopefully we see a cool set of cards that are in the second set of shapeshifters coming out today at 6 p.m. UK. What else should we see today? I would expect a shapeshifters SBC. Uh, who do we have? We had we had two earlier this week. I forget the first one, but I remember that we had um, we had Olaza. We had Olaza as an SBC, and then last week I, I forget who the first guy was uh, that first came out first. That was a shapeshifter SBC. But we had two shapeshifter SBCs, and we had an objective. I would expect to see another sbc shapeshifter today on friday uh from what they've been doing on the promos is a, the, the friday like this is the most hyped day of the week on fifa right now fridays are the most hyped day of the week so i would expect another objective shapeshifter and another sbc shapeshifter as well probably some sort of pack sbc and something like that i think i'm going to try to to finish this out tonight if i can it's a lot of games but we'll see if we can finish it out because i'm almost done with that card and I don't want to just do the grind for nothing, right? So I would expect another grindable objective and probably another um, player from SBCs today that would be that would be of the shapeshifter variant. So that's what I would expect today in terms of that kind of content. Um, other big time SBCs, probably not. I mean, that just first day SBC content is usually a player SBC from that promo. At least that's what they've been doing recently. And then a pack supply SBC. That's kind of, that's just kind of it on what they do with this squad and we almost know what to expect today that's why i'm, I'm this should be a pretty similar day this friday today as we had last friday so the stuff that you saw happen last friday should should be happening again 
today. Uh, except today, we have some Road to the Final upgrades that we know are coming. We know that we are getting some more Road to the Final upgrades from the games that were played earlier this week. Europa League cards are going to be upgraded as well. So last week we had Sancho upgraded. Uh, who else do we have? We had Angelino got upgraded because of the position or the transfer. Uh, SBC. Was it an SBC? It, it was these guys right here. These were the guys that got upgraded last week. And this was actually, it's kind of funny, right? Because there's Torreya behind my face cam. You know that Arsenal lost today. So kind of interesting that they upgraded some of these Europa League cards early last week when they shouldn't have. But these are the upgrades that we're going to see for Raul Jimenez and Mbabu because both of those cards uh, did actually earn the upgrade that they, they got here. So it'll be interesting to see if they give them the same upgrade as they had last week. I think uh, Juan Jesus was given an upgrade inside of foot as well. Um, for They made Juan Jesus an 88 last week in the game when he shouldn't have been, but now it is the time where they should get upgraded. So we'll see Kingsley Coman and Goretzka getting an upgrade along with Mares, Depay, Martial, Jimenez, um, Juan Jesus, already mentioned him. A couple other the Road to the Finals, Kent, SBC guys. Uh, if you did the Kent player pick SBC and not the Forest, your Kent card will be getting upgraded, which could be... I mean, this guy starts in my team, man. He's very, very good. I'm excited for him to uh, get an upgrade and get a boost because this guy's a pretty pretty beast card, right? He could go to 99 pace. He's going to go from 82 to an 84. He's got the four-star skills, the five-star weak foot. So it's going to be interesting to see how much they boost his card. But uh, you're probably going to see a lot of that guy popping up as a super sub in weekend league teams again uh, because he is going to get his upgrade. And an another thing that I think you're going to see coming out on Friday night tonight is going to be man of the match items and we are set for some really really good man of the match cards to possibly come out they would be UCL man of the matches and um, Europa League man of the matches so I'm thinking we're probably going to get one for KDB I would expect a Kevin De Bruyne man of the match I would also expect a Serge Gnabry man of the match so De Bruyne Serge Gnabry would be some of the Champions League guys that from their games early this week that I th think could be getting man of the match cards. Um, and there's probably going to be some other guys that work their way in there as well. I don't know if they'll give Griezmann one. I thought about this earlier in the week because Griezmann, uh, he did score the goal. He did score the away goal. And I think, you know, that's that's a decently, that's a solid stat to have and a solid uh, accomplishment. He scored the away goal uh, in their game this week in Champions League. But... I don't know if they would give Griezmann, KDB, and Serge Gnabry all Man of the Match cards. So I probably would just expect two of those. If Griezmann does get one, though, if you're somebody who's going to be on at the time they drop these upgrades, which they drop these upgrades really, really late. Like, I'm saying last week, I think the Road to the Finals got upgraded on Friday night, and I think it was like, like 1 or 2 a.m. UK time is when they got upgraded. So I would expect more of the same for the cards this week, and that is when the Man of the Match cards came out as well. So they kind of upgrade Man of the Matches, uh, or they put out Man of the Matches, and they upgrade Road to the Finals and uh, Road to the Europa League Finals at the same time. So that's when I would expect a lot of this action to happen, kind of late night, Friday night market type thing, and stuff like that. So be on the watch for that as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the content today. Cards and packs, an SBC, uh, maybe a couple SBCs, one of them being a player SBC, an objective, uh, and then the upgrades later in the evening. That's like the content for the day, basically, for Shapeshifters too. I also want to talk about some trading type stuff that you guys are going to be seeing. What's going to happen market-wise today? What is going to happen on the market today? Into, into the promo today, what's going to happen? What are people going to be doing? This happened last week. It happens almost every single promotion day, Friday promotion morning, I guess you could call it, is we see panic selling on cards, right? We see a lot of panic selling on cards that people are no longer, uh, they want to get their coins. Like, oh, that's low. They want to get their coins uh, because they're going to go and uh, because they're going to go and see what these new cards are. They want to have their coins ready if they want to buy them or whatever. And you'll see panic just like you saw here. That's not really like super crazy panic, but uh, I'm going to see if I can make just a little bit on that. Maybe let's do like 89, 90K. See if I can get me a Fabinho sell right there. But this is the stuff that you can be looking for heading into the 6 p.m. content drop today. You can be looking for meta special cards, informs, out of packs cards. Uh, and you can honestly look at the first set of shapeshifters as well. If you see some selling on some of the shapeshifters uh, this morning as we head into the new team coming out, 
I would say that could be a, a buy opportunity. A lot of these guys are inflated from where they were at at rewards, but they're not inflated that much. And these cards out of packs, a lot of times when we see two week promos, the first team rises out of packs pretty nicely. Pretty nicely, especially the cards that are usable, the cards that people are having fun with in this game and using a lot. Of course, these cards are still in packs until 6 p.m. UK. So technically, uh, there is a chance that you could pack one of them up until that, that content drop time. So maybe if you want Lucas for your team, like I'm kind of interested in, or if you want Atal or Heitzbauer or Louise, are these cards investable? For a lot of them, I would have to see a little bit more of a drop on them. Just because, example, for example, this, this Heitzbauer guy, Hat, Hatzbauer, Hans. I'm just going to call him Hans. How about that? I'm going to call this guy Hans. Hans uh, is like 130,000 coins right now. 130K? He was 115,000 coins right before rewards last night. So if you would see this guy back at like 125 and under, maybe on bid, low 120s, that's fine with me because I think I think a guy like this could easily be 100, 125. Do I buy one? Probably not. I think this guy could be 150,000 coins. I'm not going to be investing in these cards, probably. I might buy one or two of them and kind of stick them in the club for the next week or so. But I want to stay fairly liquid and just be able to trade because I'm doing really well at that at the moment. And I just don't, sometimes I just don't feel like I trust this market, right? I just don't feel like I want to trust these prices are accurate or they could drop. EA drops content all the time nowadays in foot. So I'm just going to stay liquid and trade myself this weekend. And again, one of the market movements I'm going to be looking for on Friday is some of this panic selling on popular meta out of packs special cards. I'm going to be looking at past team of the weeks. I'm going to be looking at maybe even these winter refresh cards. Like let's say like they put out uh let's say they put out a Conte center back. Now it would be pretty crazy if people were to go sell some of their center back cards, but let's say they put out a Conte center back card it's juiced or whatever, and some people are selling like Virgil Van Dyke's Inform or something, right? Because because Conte's uh, center back card would probably be somewhere around a million coins or more, in my opinion. So let's say somebody is selling their Inform VVD. This might be a panic sell that you would go and pick up on because you're like, man, VVD has dropped 50, 60k today, uh, and you know that center back Conte card. Who wants to play him at center back? They want to play him at, at CDM most of the time, right? So just look for some of the stuff like that. That's why I was mentioning the Fabinho. Last week specifically, this Fabinho card went up to 90,000 coins. Uh, went up to 90,000 coins before the, the Friday panic selling happened, before the promo. It went down in the panic selling all the way to 80,000 coins. So it went down like 12, 12 to 15K from where it was at its peak after Thursday rewards, went back down to like 80,000 coins. And then in the nighttime after lightning rounds and after that kind of stuff, it rose back up because people bought their teams back for the promo or whatever. So look for that kind of stuff to happen. Use some of these, these informs that I traded for Thursday flips as a guide, right? Maybe even you look at some road to the final cards um, that are just rare and they're very usable, right? FFS cards, headliners, team of the group stages, like any sort of special card that a lot of people use in this game, popular meta special cards that are, you see are getting panic sold, headed into the 6 p.m. content drop. Keep an eye out for those, watch those, watch their prices, and you should have an opportunity to sell them later in the night on Friday um, for a profit because that's what happens, right? We have panic selling heading into the 6 p.m. content window, right? Like, let's use this Goretzka card for one more quick example. Goretzka is probably going to be somewhere around, like, what, 80,000 coins-ish? 80,000 coins-ish? Is that where Goretzka is? Maybe 90K? Where's Goretzka at? Goretzka is 90,000 coins. Uh, let's say he's, like, 80,000 coins today, right before the content drop. Well, as long as there's not a Bundesliga center mid or anything that would hurt his price from a new card coming onto the market in the, in the new promo team, uh, then you should probably see his price rebound because people would buy his card back for their squads. That's the whole point of this, right? The, the panic selling happens before the promo actually starts. People realize, okay, there's not much I can do here maybe. I opened some packs, didn't get anything. Well, let me go buy my team back, right? And we see that buyback happening after the second set of lightning rounds. And it goes for about three to four hours after that really strong into the morning with uh, with out-of-pack specials and just other meta weekend league usable cards that people are buying back for the weekend league squad. So that's one place I would look to trade with in this market today. Another place I would look to trade, Icon Trading. This is one of my favorite things to do on promo days, the Icon filters, right? Icon filters, 
basic chemistry style, set yourself a minimum bin price, and then uh, kind of where your coins are at. So like right now I've got 1.844 mil. So that's what I'm gonna set as my max buy price. Just find a minimum buy price that works for you so that you can get to the 59th minute very quick. Like boom, I got to the 59th minute here in the first page. I'm gonna lower that down though because I wanna see a few more listings. Uh, but if you can get to the 59th minute within a couple pages, like that's boom right there. Look at that, like one page again, that's fantastic. That's pretty fantastic for a, a basic chem style filter. Uh, and then yeah, for these, wow, that's low 155. You're going to see these cards drop even more today because there's going to be lightning rounds coming onto the game. And I know that FIFA is kind of in a, like a dead state unless they drop something sick today. It's probably going to stay that way. But people are going to be opening lightning rounds. There are prime icons and moments icons that are going to get packed. And you are going to see dropping prices on these icons, primes and moments today because those are the ones that are in packs right now. And uh, every single day that we've gone on with these moments being in packs, they literally have dropped lower every single day. So I would not expect that to change today. A lot of those icon moments dropped today during rewards even. Uh, they dropped last week during rewards. And it looks like they're doing the same thing uh, this week during rewards. And I would expect them to drop even more with uh, the lightning rounds coming out today as well. So this is a, a place to trade on the market. Some of those will rebound higher into the night as people buy those cards uh, for their weekend league teams as well. So that's a place where you can look to possibly trade during the lightning rounds as well. And then of course, if you haven't done a club stock, I mean, dudes, some of these prices on high rated golds are still ridiculous. Uh, if if my my inclination and my, my stance on this is just do a club stock, buy some, put them in the club, just buy one, chuck it in the club, and then you don't have to worry about when EA drops the SBC. You're ready for when EA drops the SBC. If you're somebody who's unassigned, uh, I mean, that's a choice that you can make, but you're at the mercy of EA dropping an SBC, and we haven't had one in a while. So you would think that one is coming soon, but we really never know when we're gonna get that next SBC that is really, really demanded by EA Sports, or by, not by EA Sports, by the consumer base, by everybody who plays this game. So just be caution, be cautious and, uh, you know, use your head a little bit and think about what you want to do in foot before you go on a sign. And then, then you don't have the ability to, to buy and sell anything when things get stuck in your, on a sign pile. It's a pain. I mean, yes, you can buy from your club and buy from the squad screen, but it's just a pain when you do that kind of stuff. So again, there's going to be plenty of opportunities to trade, to trade today. I hope that for some reason, if EA would somehow and decide to drop the mid icon SBC on a Friday, it might be one of the most hyped Fridays we've had in FIFA in a while. The market would take a mad dive in price because people would sell everything to go do those SBCs. Um, high rated golds would be a mess. They'd be all over the place because there's so many people be trying to sell them to make coins while other people are trying to do the SBC. So that would be a whole mess that we'd be looking at, but that would just bring some hype to this game, right? EA. Drop something big today that brings hype to this game. Uh, we got a flashback, Aspili Queta, really quick. I'm going to cover this at the end of the video because I tweeted about this today. Um, I tweeted about this because a lot of we've been seeing this, right? We saw it with David Luiz coming out and then David Luiz getting another card. We saw it with Taglifico's objective and then Taglifico getting a headliner. EA is reusing, and this is kind of like the EA way, is what I call it today. Kind of more of a speculative and just. Um, just kind of the way that I think EA does things to help people, you know, lose coins and encourage them to spend FIFA points. They dropped the center back Aspiliqueta SBC today. Position change, uh, pretty nice stat upgrade. Only 200,000 coins, right? So it's decently doable. It's not worth it in my opinion. But if you're a Chelsea fan, if you're an Aspiliqueta fan, you're going to do this SBC, right? So they're taking 200,000 coins away from you and you're getting an untradeable card because of that. And then they're going to drop another center back Chelsea card with the position change from what it looks to be in the loading screen, a position change Conte. So, you know, and FIFA Ultimate Team is all, all about building your team up and up and up and getting a better team as you go in the game, right? That's how they sell it to you. And that's, that's what they're doing with these promos too. They're bringing out new cards that you can put in your team. And every time they put out new cards, that card below it that you have becomes lesser in value because the new card takes precedent and more people want that. So they sell this other one to go get the next one. So that's kind of the EA way with these SBCs and these new cards coming out. So that's kind of why I was I made that tweet today. I don't know if you saw it. Check my Twitter down below in the description if you are not following me there. Um, but yeah, if you want to do the Aspilicueta SBC, if you're, if you're a um, 
Chelsea fan, by all means, go and do it. 200,000 coins for a pretty emotional card if you're a Chelsea fan, right? Aspilicueta. Uh, a lot of you guys probably want that card, but, um, you know, it's just kind of the way that EA works. So you just, ha just have to be careful with it, right? If it was a Spurs SBC, if it was like, I don't know, maybe like a, um, well, Lucas has a special card, but maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe like a, I almost said Lamella, but Lamella wouldn't be that hype. I don't know if I would do a Lamella. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like a, maybe something interesting, like a Serge Aurier SBC, like a Juice Serge Aurier. I don't know. I might try that out. You know, I, I kind of have to go do that as a Spurs fan. So I understand club loyalty and stuff like that, but I'm just telling you this stuff. I'm just pointing it out so that you guys can be uh, informed. That you guys can see some of these things as well. Uh, and it's just the way that EA works sometimes, all right? So if you guys enjoyed this video and you're hyped for uh, Shapeshifter set two, hit this, the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below if you have any questions and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's Promo Friday, boys. And that means we're gonna have a different outro today, all right? Just kidding. It's your boy, Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>